Hello viewers. Over the last few days, I've been making some films about the Boeing 737 MAX 8. And sadly why it crashed. Now I have learnt a lot from you. Got some fantastic comments. But last night, I got the comment I'd really been waiting for. What it reveals is the missing link between the MCAS system, the pilots in the cockpit, and the ultimate fate of the aircraft. We've all been speculating on what the pilots might have done to save the situation. And we also have learnt a lot about how the MCAS system works. But the bit that I never really understood was how trained pilots couldn't manually save the day and not crash. What was it that happened in the cockpit that put those poor planes into a fatal nosedive that the pilots couldn't pull out of and they ended up hitting the ocean and the ground? Listen carefully to what this person has to say. I think he has put his finger on it and we can now be closer to understanding the truth. By definition, commercial airplanes are required to be aerodynamically stable such that they can be flown hands off when properly trimmed by the flight control system which can respond to the pitch instability much faster than a human pilot can. Commercial airplanes are required to be designed to have handling characteristics that control pitch up so the airplane is more difficult to get into a deep stall condition which can be very difficult to recover from. A deep stall is a flight condition where the airflow over the airframe is so disrupted that the pitch control services, horizontal stabilizer and elevator, are totally ineffective in controlling the pitch attitude of the aeroplane. In a deep stall it is very difficult, or in some aircraft nearly impossible, to recover the aircraft back to normal flight. Essentially, the aeroplane is falling out of the sky. Previous versions of the 737 achieved this requirement without the need for a software-controlled device. However, the LEAP engines and their placement on the wing made pitch instability a problem. During initial 737 MAX flight testing, the greater pitch-up characteristic was discovered. There were two fixes for this issue. One, designing a new, larger horizontal stabilizer and larger elevator surface. Or two, developing a software solution to automatically control the existing horizontal stabilizer to prevent the pitch-up from happening. Boeing, for a number of economic reasons, chose the software solution. The problem with the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft that crashed was a faulty MCAS system. MCAS drives the horizontal stabilizer into a position which the elevator surface can no longer control the pitch attitude of the aeroplane. It completely overwhelms the ability of the smaller elevator surface to control the aeroplane. The pilots were confused by momentarily regaining the control pitch when the MCAS system hesitates and stops driving the horizontal stabilizer nose down. But then the MCAS system drives the stabilizer nose down again in response to a continuing faulty AOA sensor input. Boeing determined that greater control authority was necessary for the MAX 8 
and the Max 9 aeroplanes. The even longer fuselage of the yet to be built Max 10 might require even more computer authority to drive the horizontal stabilizer. Thanks for watching this. It's very sobering. And it's going to be a difficult job for Boeing to pick up these pieces. And I really hope they do. But remember, thanks to you, the truth is out there.